Hi guys and welcome now to the part two uh, for the High Simeon Mega 5 EST 7th Anniversary Edition. Um, I start off straight away with the graph for the actual, the original Mega 5 EST. And as you can see, it, it, it had an interesting tuning. It, it, I, I mean, I can't stand yeah and say, no, the, the tuning didn't work or wasn't good or anything of the sort. No, the tuning was actually a, a pretty solid tuning. Uh, you know, uh, flat by 200 hertz, a little bit of an earlier pin again, picking it too. And then really these peaks were not uh, as noticeable as what you think. And the sound was, it was nice. Uh, the, the biggest um, issue was I think that you could kind of pick up on where certain drivers started and where certain drivers finished. So not so much uh, between the dynamic driver and the BAs, but more between the BAs then and the uh, ESTs. But anyway, that was overall the, the graph. They then uh, subsequently came out with the Mark II version, which is this where the base for the most part was maintained and they just changed yeah, the profile of where the pin again was uh, and kind of um, made that matching of the drivers become more sensible um, and gave it a little bit more uh, or gave it an improved uh, t uh, sound stage sensation of, of space. However, however, the problem that it uh, had was you could pick up on this, this dip here in the treble, it was more noticeable than what you think. Um, and it kind of uh, made the female vocal sound just a little bit more uh, laid back. Uh, interesting tuning, well done, nothing wrong with it, honestly. But it, it, that was noticeable. Uh, the plus side was that, like I said, the, driver, the, the, the driver's coherence or matching was, was more well executed and the, the technicalities were improved. And then finally now we have the seventh anniversary, which, uh, you know, many people said it was the same and it sounded the same, and I can say that it doesn't sound the same. Um, it's not in the bass where you see the difference, it's in this area here of the upper mid of the treble, the things are substantially improved. You can notice now more energy um, without the loss of that driver coherence, and everything just sounds... Uh, uh, more more balanced out. Going back to that thing that I mentioned about the 100 hertz and the 2 to 3k peak, as you can notice as well, we have kind of the same situation happening. The 100 hertz here matches more or less the area here between 2 and 3 where the peak occurs, which is at the 3, and then the overall base response is above the, the maximum response of, of the pin again, which then confers this very uh, a very elegant, very uh, very nicely done presentation. It, it's just, it just, you know, it sounds really, really nice. It just sounds very upscale. Now, uh, as I said, I uh, compared this to the EJO7M, um, and I'm actually going to show you something else before I show you that. Okay, this is the EJO7M, all right, my unit, and this is. Let me just change the color. And this is again the original Mega 5 EST. Let me make it red so it stands out. Okay. And as you can see, like I mentioned as well earlier on, the, the similarity between the two was quite significant. Uh, the thing was that the EJ07, which is the, the green line, it just sounded more coherent in the driver matching. It had more bass than what you would think by looking at the graph. And although the ESTs seemed subdued uh, by comparison, they were more well executed. It, 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 there was a, 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 a real elegance to the execution. Okay. Now, when I take the EJ07 and I compare it to the current EST, um, we have a lot of similarities in the sound. That's the reality. The EST, I think, um, the high senior, the EST, the seventh edition, where it uh, edges out the EJ07 on certain songs. So it's very much a, a give and take here. It's not like it's a, it's it, 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 it's way better than the EJ07. No, they are very equally matched. That's the reality. Is that we have a little bit more detail up top. Uh, than what the graph would lead you to believe, okay? And that detail comes accompanied with a little extra amount of, and again, I use this word elegance because I think it's it's really, it's I think it's the best word. It's just very elegant in the way it does things. Uh, you know, it's just very, um, it, it, very hi-fi, okay? That's it. It's it, Nothing shouts, nothing tries to grab you uh, or to or call your attention to a particular part of the, of the spectrum. 
everything is just very, very well executed. Male, female vocals, everything just comes across, you know, really, really well. Um, so that's one. And then, where's the other one here? Apologies. Okay, and now the Xuan Wu gate. Uh, this is the Xuan Wu gate in its stock format, okay? Uh, and the one I'm going to show you now is the Xuan Wu gate with the 25 ohm um, impedance adapter, which is how I then did most of the listening, if not all of the listening, and I actually did my comparisons. So, uh, what you can, I think it's quite noticeable, in the stock format, the bass definitely is very lean. And so what happens is that this area here gets its emphasis. Uh, and certain songs lose uh, more their engagement because of this leanness here, okay? It, they, it just needed a little bit more. So you either go about this two ways, either you raise this or you lower that. And by adding the 25 ohm impedance adapter, you raise it slightly, yes, but you lower this area. So the ratio skews itself opposite. And what you get then is that extra warmth that you would like because everything here just sounds more, more relaxed, not as in your face. Uh, not, it's not that it's in your face, but I think you guys understand what I'm trying to say. And when I then compare that with the impedance adapter with the high senior, um, it 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 they they it sounds good. I mean, the high senior is a better iron. If for no other major reason, the price difference you know is the reality. But if the stock uh, gate um, by comparison uh, sounds just lifeless compared to the high senior, okay, although you can see that it's very similar up top, okay, up amidst treble and everything, it just sounds very much lifeless because it doesn't have this extra amount of energy. On the 25 ohm impedance adapter, this here becomes more, more equal. You lose a little bit of energy up top there and just the overall balance just comes across nice. So we have, a, at least for me, a more agreeable timbre and a more agreeable tonality. Um, and that's it, guys. I mean, look, like I said, the High Senior is definitely the Mega 5 EST 7th edition, 7th anniversary edition. For me, personally, is the best IEM that High Senior has made to date. It's an IEM that shoots way, way above its price point. Uh, and, and like I mentioned earlier in the review, for you to really go and find something that's are going to be, uh, you know, let's say an improvement, and 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 even then the improvement is very relative because we are talking about an IM which is twice the price is the 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 Penon the voltage. Okay, uh, I haven't compared it to the Mark III, the Monarch, um, but I'm I'm trying to see if I can get my hands on one, and if I do, I'll definitely will. And if I can get my hands on an Oracle Mark III, I will also definitely do that comparison. Um, if there are any other comparisons that I maybe can do, and if you guys want, please let me know. And, and that's that. As always, like and subscribe, you know, and uh, that's it. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.